Okie dokie, so... There we go. Alright, so this ought to be... Uh, at least pretty interesting. I haven't played Breath of the Wild in so long that I've actually kind of forgotten how some of the mechanics of this game work. So it it'll be interesting to say in the least. Does it just throw you straight in? It might just throw me straight in. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to throw me straight in. Alright, let me uh, go back over to the Discord here. been so long since I've played this game that I really like barely remember the details open your eyes wake up link Oh man, it feels good to play a good Zelda game again. I also thought about digging out the Wii U and playing Twilight Princess, but I don't have the remaster of it. I just have the Wii version, and I didn't feel like trying to fiddle around with motion controls or anything like that. Oh no, you're good, Chase. We had like 15 minutes of tech problems, so it all worked out. I ended up deciding, well, I was going to do some mini games on 51 games, um, Clubhouse games, 51 classic games, or whatever the heck that name of that game is um instead we're gonna do a uh, three heart uh breath of the wild run uh because i've never done this before um it's been so long since i played a zelda game that this should be at least pretty interesting we're starting totally from scratch this is going to be kind of an on and off series um just because that i cannot guarantee a hundred percent uh i really can't guarantee a hundred percent if I'm going to go with this game as like my next game that I stream, or if I'm going to return to Persona 5, the Royal, or if I'm going to play the new Paper Mario game, I'd like to get the new Paper Mario game and give that a shot because it looks really good. We got the Sheikah Slate. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be playing a Zelda game too. Should be at least kind of interesting to watch. Um, I'm also kind of hyping myself up for the sequel whenever that comes out. Thank you. Um, so some rules, though, is that even though this is a three heart run, that doesn't mean that I can't make potions that give me more hearts. Um, I would go so far as to say that, like, for me, this is my favorite Zelda game of all time. But I can understand why you interpret it this way. This is, well, actually, it's between this and Twilight Princess for me. I really like both of them. This is definitely the only Zelda game I've put more than, like, probably 20 hours into, though. Well, no, I mean, Twilight Princess I've played several times, so I've probably put the equivalent of, like, I don't know, 30 to 40 hours into it, since it's not a real long game. But this one, I think I put, Link. in my original file, I think I put you something like 30... I don't, well, no, closer to like probably 30 hours, like in the first week I bought it. But then I also played. Um, I also think I just tried to do a completionist run of this game. So I tried for like a year and a half um, to get all of it to work. And I still never really completed the game. <laughs> Oops. Um, but I did get like 140 hours in.
Yeah, I, uh, this isn't going to be a speed run by any means, but I kind of figure since we're doing a three heart run, this should be at least a little, a little different. I, I haven't decided entirely what other rules there are other than you can still get hearts through the means of potions. So like it's, it's a three red heart run. We'll call it that. Oh man, I don't even remember. Ooh, okay, cool. I don't really remember how to do anything in this game. <laughs> so this ought to be interesting. It's It's been just long enough that I don't remember really anything. I also never played it on a pro controller. Um, I played all of the game... Because, yeah, I'm using my uh, Smash Bros. Pro Controller. Um, this is the first time I've ever used it to play this game, and I'm really used to playing it on the Joy-Cons. So this feels a little foreign to me. Oh, okay, and I ran out of stamina. Ooh, the stamina wheel is going to get a little annoying. But since I'm doing a three-heart run, that shouldn't be too big of a deal, because I'll just put all of it towards stamina. Okay, that. Um, we probably have too many tree branches now, but that's okay. Birds? There's a beetle. Can we get that beetle? Yeah, we can. I wish they also had more music in this game. Like, that's, that's like, one of the big things I was really hoping they were gonna have. It's almost eerily quiet. Like, this whole game is. Like, without music. That might be part of the reason I enjoyed Twilight Princess so much, too, is just because, like, the music was, like, really phenomenal. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, now we got food. Give me this apple. I beg your pardon! I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Forgive me, I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself an apple in an open flame make a succulent treat. Who are you? 63 hours. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good amount of time. Uh, where are we? Answering a question with a question. Hmm. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Yeah, to be fair, I've never done every side quest in Twilight Princess. I'd love to, but I just never got around to it. Like, the first time I played the game, I think, was, like, maybe back when it was in, like, fifth grade, maybe? Sixth grade? I can't remember. It's been a long time, and, like, I graduated college, like, two months ago, so it's been a long time since the first time I played it. I tried to do a, a replay through of it um, back during, like, sophomore year of high school, and then I never did it. And then I replayed it again during my freshman year of college. But, like, I definitely played it at least once or two, one or two more times um, between there. Ooh, this is a big world. I really don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing, though. Hey, it's an enemy. Not yet. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, so this ought to be more fun to watch, I think, than The Last of Us Part 2. Just because, like, even though The Last of Us Part 2 was a super interesting story, in the grand scheme of things, uh, that game was tougher for me to play through um, towards the end, just because, like, the story got so complicated that I could never talk. <laughs> Whereas, at least with this, I kind of have the ability to, like, talk about things and, and you know, do things. So, it's fun. Follow the Sheikah Slate. Sure thing, buddy. Boy, the game's kind of framey right now. I'm not used to it having this much trouble. To be fair, though, like... The early game, I, I remember, seemed to not have troubles. Uh, Do you have to complete all four shrines before you leave? Yes, you do. Um, So, like, the first... I think it's, like... 35 to 40 minutes or so of this is probably going to be, like, very strictly just a bunch of cutscenes and doing some, like, basic shrines. And I'm not going to do all of the shrines either. Like, there's really no point. I'm just going to do them as they kind of... As I kind of run across them, um, I'll, I'll try to do them. But there's really not much of a point to doing all of them if I'm doing just a free heart run. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fancy speedrun strats? No, I'm not doing any fancy speedrun strats today. Um, this isn't a speedrun, but we're just doing a three heart run. Um, which I've never done before, so this is going to be an interesting challenge. I'd love to learn how to speedrun this game, though, because it looks, like, super interesting to play um, in a speedrun. If I ever get back into speedrunning games, um, like, professionally, not not even professionally, but just because I can, I want to get back into Shadow of the Colossus, because that's an extremely fun game to speedrun, but I also want to... Um, I want to get a little bit better at Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I'd love to go to a GDQ with it. I think it's unlikely, though, that we're going to have a GDQ event for a while, though. Hello! Gotcha. Hey, guess what, bitch? Ow. So this is where three hearts is going to become really, like, tricky. Because uh, I almost imagine that this is going to be... Oh, no, you're good, Chase. Don't worry about it. Um, I imagine that three hearts is going to not seem like a lot of HP by the time we actually get to um, this, the uh, Divine Beasts. Or even some of the shrines, because some of the tests of strength are pretty difficult. And before you ask, no, we're not going to try to fight um, any of those tough enemies. I, the name is skipping me now all of a sudden. Thank you. I can't remember. They're not Lizalfos. Those are the lizard guys. That's true. I will have stamina. What I lack in... Um... Hello? Thank you. What I lack in... Um... In HP will be made up in stamina, so I'll be able to glide all over the place. Lionel, thank you. Yes, I will not be fighting any of those. I only ever beat one of them during my, like maxed out playthrough that I did. Where I completed almost every shrine. There was just some puzzle shrines that I never did because I tried to play the game completely blind. We're also definitely not going to go for all the Korok seeds because that seems like way too much effort. Um, I don't know where we're going right now. I think up that hill maybe. No Lynels, no stone guys. I could probably fight the stone taluses honestly. Like... I don't think those would be too difficult. Hold on. Hello? Oh, here it is. Come on, give me the arrows. Thank you. Yeah, it is a little weird not having any kind of background music right now. God, I don't have any stamina. This sucks. Do I have the DLC? I do not have the DLC. Um, I never got around to playing it. And I would like to. Um, I might pick it up and play it on my uh, my other account that I have. So that way I can use all my good gear. I've heard it's really fun. Hey, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. We're doing a Breath of the Wild 3 heart run today. Um, we're not going to beat the whole game today. We're just going to play for a couple hours. Um, this is going to be sort of an on-and-off series that I do, because I haven't decided if this is going to be like the new main series, or if I'm going to do some Persona 5 Royal, or or if I'm going to continue um, with the new Paper Mario game, because that comes out this Friday, so I might make that my Sunday stream, which reminds me, normally I stream on Saturdays, but I'm not streaming this Saturday because I, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be moving, uh, not out of my current place, but I'm actually going to be moving all the stuff I have out of my apartment. Um, into a storage unit because I'm living with my parents for right now while I wait to start my full-time job. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I will be working as a, a uh, engineer. And now all of these stone penises come out. Barbarian armor. Yeah. Th is that in the DLC? Oh, ow, my neck. This game is so good. It's so atmospheric. I've also got gummy bears, so... Good stuff. <clears throat> Three maze. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it is good armor. I forgot about that. 
I remember at one point when the image of that map leaked, like back in 2016, and we all thought it was fake because it looked way too small. And it was real, but it was just like one chunk of this giant world. Welcome back, Aurel. I was wondering where everybody went. I know that Alex's phone died that he was watching this on, so hopefully he returns at some point. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Yeah? That's not good. Where's my water bottle? I don't have the gamer god purple water bottle today. I just have a generic plastic water bottle from Costco. <laughs> That I also just spilled all over myself. You must it's good stuff. Link. Before it's too late. So if I'm not mistaken, I have to do the four shrines, get the paraglider, and then after that, I'm basically good to go. Ooh, that sounds very good. Oh, shoot. Okay, good. No fall damage. I wonder if they have it set up so I don't take any fall damage. The first time I played this game, I just fell off of here without any problems. Um, well, thinking I didn't have any problems, and then I fell right to my death. So, whoo! <laughs> my, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were at the top of that tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? Nah. That is unfortunate. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I bet that tasted good. I assume you caught sight. Oh, wow, that is not the voice I gave him. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity at shrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It's going to take a giant dump all over the land. Very fast and very quick. You'll never see it coming. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to stop it from pooping? <laughs> I do. It's a Nintendo Capri Sun moment right there, man. He always made poop jokes in all of his videos. I had a feeling you would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep, cl uh, steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. A paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know? No, maybe you did, though. Like, I mean, you're kind of old. You kind of remind me of the owl from Ocarina of Time. Are you sure you don't have wings? Way to bring you back. Were you a Nintendo Capri Sun fan as well? I actually have been watching... Well, not watching, but I've been listening to his playthrough of Final Fantasy X. Um, just kind of casually as I've been doing some work. Those were simpler times, dude. I remember... The first time I saw a video of his was like back in 2008 or 2007, back whenever like I first started doing LPing on a on my really really old capture card. I don't even have that capture card anymore. I don't think that bow. So this yes, there there were much simpler times at one point or another. Um, okay, how do I look at the map? Yeah, here we are. So, I actually have forgotten what we're supposed to be doing. Are we supposed to be looking for those shrines? I think we are. Um, and I'm actually not entirely sure where they are. If I'm not mistaken, there's one on the top of Mount Hylia, but I don't 